Well, good morning, welcome everybody. So what we're doing is here, we're going to look through a level one mass paper, okay. This was started in the sessions on the 13th of July, and we'll tie over into next week's sessions, which is the week commencing 20 something, okay. So this level one paper, um, as we can see, I'm just gonna scroll through it. I may have to break the video down into chunks if I exceed about 14 minutes, okay. So just be advised on that one. So you have the instructions on the paper here, what you've got to do, you're told it's with a calculator, you're told how long a time is. This one actually came from 2018, okay? But basically the most papers will follow the same format unless you're on what they call the reform where you'll have a mental arithmetic part to start off with. This comes in the legacy. But the main thing is it's certainly you have a chance to look at questions and see what goes on with them. So I'll give the instructions again. What you might want to do is I'll give some explanations, but if you want to look at something in more detail, press pause and sit and read and then recommence afterwards, okay? So what we have here is a typical question and it's gonna follow a certain format. Um, the individual here wants to buy a new car. He needs to pay a cash deposit of 5875 uh, with 22920 each month for 24 months. So you're given the basic work out the total amount Michael will pay, show you check your workings, okay? So here we have the format here. This is the method. And again, the method is quite important, all right? But make sure again when you do your final answer that you actually put the necessary pound signs, unit measurements and so on and so forth in. So all I've done is I've taken the payments for the 24 months, times that, got that figure, got the cash deposit, added that together, that gives me my final figure here, okay? So again, as I said, put and pause as you go through having a look at some of these. You might be asked to reverse check. So how do you actually do that? Um, that actually should be now I'm looking at that we should actually probably have a minus. we should actually have a minus sign on that I can't correct that at the moment um, but that should be that figure minus that figure minus that figure will bring you down to zero okay so again we now have a question where about needs to buy insurance which is quite relevant because all of us who do drive have to have insurance on our cars so again what we're doing is we've been shown the pro talk through the process here so you're given a table and you have to interpret information. Again, a very favorite style um, functional skills question. Insurance company, costs each month, excesses, legal expenses, breakdown. So Michael wants car insurance, this breakdown cover, excess of less than 300, costs the lowest each month, what insurance company should Michael use? So of course, you're gonna go down, look at the prices, then go across the excess. Uh, we're not interested in legal expenses, we're only interested in breakdown cover. So we can look down and essentially this is going to be our answer here. Insurance company D, 9433, excess is 250, which is below 300. So last monthly premium and it has breakdown cover included. Again, so have a read through, press pause, have a digest. Okay, another thing, because we always have to buy tyres for our cars at some point. Michael wants to buy winter tyres for the car. The normal price of the tyres is £400. There's a discount of 15% of the normal price. Michael thinks 15% of 400 is 50 quid, sorry, 50 pounds. No colloquialisms. Is 15% of 400 pound equal to 50 pound? So what you're doing is you're showing your answer here. So what you need to be considering is, okay, there are different ways of doing percentages. This is a very quick way of doing it. If you do 400 times 0 0.15, that'll give you your figure of 60. So that only tells us that the answer is going to be no. He's saying 50, in fact, it's 60 pound. Um, what I've neglected to do there is put the pound sign in, which you must do, okay? Um, you would sometimes argue and grace in these papers, but it's good practice if you can put that in. Or it's 12 half percent of no, okay? Because you can then do a backtrack and work out how much it actually is, okay? So again, have a read, have a play with that question. Okay, so. So here we go. Um, here's the next question, it's just scale drawing. These are a little bit difficult to do on the computer because obviously the scales don't tie up. I would suggest what you do is you actually have a read of this question. Okay, I'm just going to put it there so you can do it. Okay, so Michael parks his car in the garage. Okay, he wants to have space for the freezer and the workbench in the garage. Michael, Mike, Michael makes a scale drawing. Okay, so you might want to get a little grid and do this out yourself. Okay. Um, and have a go. I mean, so I'll give them some suggestions there how this can be put together, but this is quite a favourite one. Uh, you're given a key, one square, and the grid represents 50 by 50 on the garage floor. So 
those squares will then type like for 1.5 meters you're going to have three squares which is three lots of 50 uh, width two lots of 50 which is one meter so on and so forth so again that's a question have a go have a try out okay favorite one okay this is one i suggest that you actually do do all right um the question is here press pause read it through okay and then i want you to try and do the question i've given you a method there you might want to try and backtrack you are allowed a little bit of grace with these type of questions right sometimes they give you a bit of grace and then i know this one they gave you a bit of grace but again have a look have a go and have a try that's the method that's my version there see if you can come up with a more efficient one right so let's move on let me just check my timings for a moment see where we are with that okay so got about five minutes so again what i suggest you do you sometimes ask put time plans together timetables have a read through of this put this on pause now have a read through have a look at my time plan see what you can come up with can you come up with anything different this is the sample on the awarding body have actually given but see if you can actually with all of this work out and match it with my time plan here that's what i suggest that you do so again i'm going to move on down Again, this is a favourite style of que uh, question. What they're looking at is, is there going to be enough room? So, K wants to plan displays in the room. Each display needs a space of three metres squared. K is a sketch of the room. All columns are right angles. Okay, you're giving your measurements here. So each of these spaces displays is five metres by eight. K thinks there's enough display for 25 or area is 25. Is there? So you're going to basically work out firstly the area of these points, five times eight then add the two areas together then divide that by three meters so you're finding out how many three meters are in 80 uh, 26 so the answer is going to be yes but you do need to round the 26.66 to 26 because you can't have 0.66 in the display yeah they need to be whole displays so there we go so coming down here uh, Jermaine will have a perfume display in one of the rooms again put this on pause to go back and revisit that question same here put on pause if you want to read through Jermaine will have a perfume display in one of the rooms. He has two litres of perfume to give away to visitors. Jermaine has 120 empty bottles. Each bottle can hold 15 millimetres of perfume when full. Okay. There are different permutations in this one. Okay. This is just one. Um, there are other versions. Which you can have a quick look at here for this question. Okay. Put this on pause. Um, I've got some of this information down. Um, okay let me just see if i can actually no i can't actually do that pull that all out but what i would suggest you do is you might just like to have a look again at that question i'm going to put it back up take a quick photograph of this because this shows you the different answers that you can actually have for this particular question okay and you can see we've got some different permutations going on okay this was my interpretation of answering this question okay so again put on pause have a look have a try all right Remember, sometimes there's more than one answer and you will all approach some of these questions differently. But the main point is, it doesn't matter how you approach it. As long as you get the answer right at the end, it's what they want. That's what's important. Okay. And you ask to do a check. So again, put this pause, have a read, have a try, have a look through. Kay asked 84 people to complete a survey um, about the exhibition. Only 21 people complete the survey. Kay wants to know what 21 of a fraction of 84 is. Okay simplest form 84 people in total 21 complete you put 21 over 84 simplest form essentially for some of you who would talk maths a bit differently a few years back is cancelling to the smallest number okay so simplest form means cancelling cancelling means simplest form okay so what number goes into both you're looking at what number goes in here um that comes down to that there so that means the fraction is um a quarter in fact, I do apologise, I just noticed there actually is a typographical error in there. That should be 84, so I've just corrected. So you can see that's correction now. Uh, 21 divided by 84 gives you 0 0.25, which is a fraction, is going to be a quarter. Okay, so I've just corrected that, go that there. Have a little look at that question, have a little look through. Okay. right this one is just simply counting the tallies up and adding them all in which is what i've done there um sometimes it's a bit difficult to try and put these in um, i've modified adobe file but i've added the tallies in that were missing 
Uh, you can see them here with the different size lines that I've added in. And I've added the crosses, the cross lines in where I can do so. Have a look at that one. That is a favourite one. Um, and this is actually what this question would look like in the real paper. Okay, so we've got that there. Quick, take a screenshot of that. Take a quick photograph of that. And now, if you compare it against the version I've done here, I've tried to fill in as best I can with Adobe. Okay, so beware, tally charts do come up. Okay, so I've just got a few more minutes to quickly get through this one. So, read through here. Okay, you're giving all your measurements. What you're actually done is that you're actually given your set what you need here. Follow this, this is your formula, right? This is your key. So half the sum is answered for you. So Q length we know is 145, 145. We multiply that by two, multiply by that two. The length of the table is 270 centimeters, 270 centimeters equals 560 centimeters, 5.6 meters in total, okay? Remember these type of things. These are your friend. They give you half the answer. Difficult work's done for you. All you have to do is just match everything up and the question will answer itself. Again, put on pause, reflect. Um, this one is just comparing offers, which we're all used to doing in shops, like buy, buy one, get one freeze, and so on and so forth. So again, what I suggest you do, put this on pause, have a read through what I've actually done here and look through it, okay, in peace and quiet. Okay, so we're moving on now. Okay, so there we go, have a chance to look. Um, this one, I suggest again, you actually sit down and actually work out with a bit of peace and quiet how this one all goes together. Um, essentially, you're trying to match everybody up so they have one match each, all right? So again, give yourself five, 10 minutes quietly looking this one through. Sorry, there you go, put this on pause, take your screenshots, take your photographs and so whatever you need to do. Okay, which one here uh, wants the white ball to move 45 degrees to the table? It's that one, 45 degrees being half of 90. Um, friends play snooker games in two and a half hours. First case lasts 45 minutes. So essentially your crux with this one is, um, while it's just you, your approach for answering this one, your method is put everything into minutes, okay? Because this is the asking for minutes here, okay? Um, so then what you're looking at is two and a half hours is 150 minutes. If they, the average game lasted 45 minutes, took two and a half hours, 45 times four is 180 minutes, which is three hours. So the answer is no, took three hours, okay? So this estimate, guesstimate here is wrong, okay? Again, have a little read through, peace and quiet in your own time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that paper. Okay, so that is a bit of a whistle-stop tour, but I was determined to try and get this all into one recording for you all. Okay, what you need to do is press pause on any of the questions to actually look at it in a bit more detail, or take screenshots, take photos, um, and have a go at the questions and see what you get, okay? Any questions at all on this, bring it up in our mass lessons where we actually meet, okay? Thank you for your kind attention.